Welcome to The Passion Pod with your host, Chris Johnson. Thanks for joining us. Now sit back, relax, and enjoy the feature presentation. Well, howdy. Hey, man. How are you doing? Dude, so good. I saw you play last year briefly, and I was like, dang, this is kind of righteous. And I saw you again this year, and I was like, dang, this dude's really killing it. And then I saw you walking back here, and I was like, so you want to sit down for an interview or what? Yeah, dude. Well, thank you for that, man. I, I, uh, I, I thrive at Blue Ox. This is, uh, I've been to every single year since 2015. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, were you playing? So I should quick ask you for everyone who doesn't know, who are you? I'm Ben Majeska. I play guitar and armchair boogie. I also sing sometimes, you know? <laughs> yeah, so. I saw you sing. You were leading the whole ballad of everybody out there. So with Armchair Boogie, that, has that band been around since 2015? It actually has, but um, I think uh, our first like legitimate show is with Horseshoes and Hand Grenades, who are here yeah. and always here. Uh, in September of 2015 was our first... like. Yeah, big show. You like opened um, for them? Yeah, opened up for them. And then like 2016 was like, I don't know. We didn't really like ramp things up until like 2017 because we were all in college and just like, you know, kind of tied down. And then once we all graduated, just moved to Madison, Wisconsin and made Boogie the, the thing. Sick. You know? I mean, you guys are from where? Point? Stevens Point is where we all met going to college, yeah. Cool. So how did the band then form? You were all in, like, intramural basketball, and you had to do it? Like, what happened? <laughs> yeah, um, in the form of, yeah, we were all just in different bands, man. I was in a funk band playing electric guitar, and um, Augie, our banjo player, and Eli, our bass player, were in, like, an indie rock band, alternative rock band, and uh, we were just playing, like, house parties and stuff, and, like, ended up, you know, catching wind of each other. Next thing you know, I find out Augie plays banjo, I love bluegrass, and we're like, hey, let's jam. And then uh, it was originally a duo, Armchair Boogie was, and uh, just me and Augie, and it would, you know, just play at bars or whatever. Yeah. And then uh, one day, their band broke up, and um, they, Augie's like, hey, my drummer and bassist, like, don't have anything to do. Should we add him in? And I'm like, yeah, dude, let's, who cares? Let's try it out. And then they formed Armchair Boogie, and then it kind of is blown up into something that, like, we didn't expect, but we've been having a real fun time, and yeah. Yeah, so you guys put out your first debut, like full one, what year? Uh, first album came out in 2018. So it has been a little bit of a while now. Okay, yeah. so when when you played Blue Ox the first year, which stage did you perform on? We played the late night backwoods stage, I think in uh, 2019, we were in the backwoods. and That yeah. was the first time you performed there? Yeah, first time here, yeah, yeah, first time playing here. I remember being here in like 2015 and being like mind blown. Oh, like, you were feel- coming here as like, you're yeah. just watching. And feeling very lucky that like Wisconsin had a festival, you know, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. like this, dude. You know, I was mind blown, and we were just hanging out, dude, partying. I was really young. <laughs> Who's and, the band that you remember from like as long ago? What's the first band you remember seeing here that you were blown away by? Wow, good question, dude. I think like I was seeing like Del McCurry. Now I've been to so many of these that like it's easy to mix up who is on what year. You know, I have a lot of memories of seeing the Dusters here, infamous String Dusters, who are going on tour with this fall. Um, Del McCurry band. Oh, I'm so sad I have to leave tomorrow and miss him. But uh, yeah, yeah, a lot of memories like that, man. Just uh, heroes all, all here right in Wisconsin, you know? And we were all going to college and like got a ton of college buddies to come here and just became a thing, yeah. you know? So. Did you guys get to a point now where you're doing music full time? Like, is this all you're doing is touring and doing music? Or are you still doing some other jobs and stuff? Yeah, actually everyone holds down uh, day jobs and stuff. So like, like- How do you balance that? Yeah, well, um, so I teach guitar. Oh, um, okay, cool. And I have like, yeah, a lot of students, which is uh, uh, something I really enjoy. And I can kind of do my own schedule and stuff, you know? There needs to be flexibility with how yeah. much we're hitting the road, you know? Sure. Um, Augie and Denzel, our banjo and drummer, uh, banjo player and drummer, um, they both are horticulturists and like arborists. They do tree work. Sick. Yeah. That's like kind of perfect for what we're at right now. Yeah. Right, dude. And then um, our bassist, Eli, is a barista at oh, a cool. coffee shop. And, um, but yeah, man, I mean, we, we play out a lot. We play a lot of shows, but we don't do touring in the sense that you go out for like three weeks on end. I think the most we ever do is like two weeks because we just kind of realize like for us to be mentally healthy, um, you know, we, we, we do better when we go out and like hit it hard and come back after like 10 days or something and then like rest up a little bit. We try to do like one off weekend a month. Mental health is 
top priority, man. You know, yeah. I'm glad we realized early on. I was definitely a guy that would have done anything. Yeah. But then, you know, when other guys are like, hey, I think off we're going to be good. I was always supportive, of yeah. course, you know. I'm like, you know, we got to do what we got to do. And, uh, yeah, we found a really nice balance with it, you know. We're working hard, you know. You get off the road and then you're working other stuff, but wouldn't change a thing in a lot of ways, you know? Yeah, dude, I'm struggling with the balance a little bit myself. I'm constantly running. I'm going to LA on Monday for a week right after this, and it's gonna be a whole lot, then a whole lot of editing after the fact with it. What's the biggest show you've performed? Is it performing on the main stage here? Cause that's a pretty massive crowd out there. Yeah, dude, I think um, that was, that show we did yesterday was one of the most important in my life so far. Like for sure. Now, as far as big goes, that, I mean, it was also big in the sense that I've I've wanted it for a long time, and yeah. in this festival, I've had so many memories and you know a lot of love for everyone here. So um, it was big in a lot of ways. In a lot of ways, yesterday was one of the one of the biggest. You know, um, as far as like people wise, uh, Madison, where we live now, has a cool concert series called Live on King Street, where they block off this giant street, build a stage. Uh, and it all like faces towards the Capitol in the background. So you're on Whoa. stage and you're looking at a ca- at the Capitol and you have at least like 4,000 people in front of you. So we got to do that. And so that was huge too, man. But you know, some shows got those uh, a lot of people and they're meaningful. Some don't have a lot of people and they're meaningful. Some don't have a lot of meaning, but <laughs> yeah, for <laughs> well, they all have meaning. But Which ones are the hardest for you? I talked to Chris Cruzy a little while ago and he was talking about how the intimate settings of the smaller, like the less people there are, the harder it is. Oh man, yeah. Totally, dude. Um, touring, you know, like we're, we're in a great, we have a, a nice growth happening right now. But we're also like trying to build out like east and, and anywhere, right? And when you're building, you know, you can be playing in Wisconsin, you get hundreds of people out, right? And then you go to Ohio or something, and then you don't get that amount of people out. Yeah, you but know? they're new people. They are new people, man. And it's worth it. And it's still like, it's cool, you know? Um, but it gets, it's hard to play, man, you know? Um, and when you get sometimes just a really big crowd and sometimes not you know we're just in a weird like kind of middle area right sure. now where we're still growing you know and it's it's humbling and uh yeah and it just makes you want to like you know we're just gonna keep doing it man and it, it worked in wisconsin you just got to keep going back and stuff but it can be hard when the energy isn't there in front of you right yeah. like yesterday i was really tired didn't sleep well uh, for a couple of reasons, but then like as soon as I got on stage, like every it was like palpable the yeah. energy, you know. So then there's like, oh, it's all right here. The vibes are incredibly on point. We want to continue those vibes, so it's time. Let's play a song of yours, maybe one that you guys played last night. What's one that we can play on the radio right now? Um, one that you could play on the radio. I would play um, "Moving Out of the City" is a is a good one that uh, that kind of captures a lot of what we're about for sure. Hell yeah! Thanks for coming on the show. Great to meet you, bud. I'm moving out of the city I'm headed to the country I ain't buying a Bible I'm sitting around with my rifle I'm sick of all the hustle I don't want any trouble I'm moving out of the city I'm headed to the country
the city I'm headed to the timber I ain't buying a Bible Sitting around with my rifle I'm sick of all the hustle I don't want any trouble I'm moving out of the city I'm headed to the country Thank you for joining us for this episode of The Passion Pod. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did. We'll see you soon.